Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss probability density function. Now, if a random variable, capital X, takes the value x1, x2 and so on up to xn with the probabilities p of x1, p of x2 and so on up to p of x and respectively such that P of x1 plus P of x2 plus so on of 2 plus P of xn is equal to 1 and P of xi is greater than equal to 0 for all i the function P is called the probability density function of a random variable capital X and is set to define the probability distribution of the random variable capital X. Now where the random variable considered are discrete, that is, the random variable capital X can take at most a countable or finite number of values. For example, the random variable capital X will be equal to 0, 1, 2 and so on. Now let us discuss the probability density function F of a continuous random variable capital X. Now let f of x be a continuous function of a random variable capital X such that f of x dx represents the probability that capital X, that is the random variable capital X, falls in the infinitesimal closed interval X to X plus DX, that is the probability of a random variable capital X which is greater than equal to X and less than equal to X plus DX is equal to the probability density function of a random variable capital X DX. Now, f of x DX represents the area bounded by the curve y is equal to f of x, x axis and the ordinates at the points x and x plus dx. Now this function so defined is known as the probability density function or simply density function of a random variable capital X and is usually abbreviated as P D F that is the probability density function of a random variable capital X. Now the probability for a random variable to lie in the interval of length dx is f of x dx. 
Therefore, the probability for a variable value to fall in the finite closed interval that is the closed interval A to B is P of that is the probability of the random variable capital X which is Greater than equal to A and less than equal to B is equal to the integral from A to B f of x dx. Now let us discuss the properties of the probability density function of a random variable capital X. First is f of x is greater than equal to 0 where x is greater than minus infinity and less than infinity. Now, for the sake of uniformity, the range of every continuous random variable is taken to be the open interval minus infinity to infinity by taking the value of the function f to be zero outside the actual range. So here we write f of x is equal to 0 for x is less than a f of x is equal to f of x for x is greater than equal to a and less than equal to b and f of x is equal to 0 for x is greater than b that is we are taking the value of the function f to be 0 outside the actual range that is when x is less than a then f of x is equal to 0 and when x is greater than b then also f of x is taken as 0 now the second property is integral from minus infinity to infinity f of x dx is equal to 1 and the probability P of a random variable capital X which is greater than or equal to A and less than or equal to B is equal to integral from A to B f of x dx. So any function that satisfies these conditions can be taken to be the probability density function of a random variable capital X. So in this session you have learnt about probability density function. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.